welcome again guys and we are talking about biology problems different fields of problems from biology and here comes another problem from recombinant DNA technology and we are going to solve these problems you know you require to solve these problems entire life if you are doing PhD and all this stuff you need to calculate all the time the melting temperature and you need to calculate all these things in PCR reaction what will, what will be the ultimate concentration of the DNA what is the starting concentration of DNA and all these things so here comes one problem for you and that is going to calculate the melting temperature of uh, your I mean primer. So here comes uh, the situation. The annealing temperature at which the primers attach to the template can be calculated by determining the melting temperature of the primer template hybrid. That's a very fair thing because if you calculate the melting temperature of TM, you can easily get an idea of what is going to be the annealing temperature because you know annealing temperature is very very important for starting that PCR reaction. You know for standardizing a PCR you must have taken you know many different times many times you need to calculate this temperature for 5, 6, 10 even <laughs> one month uh, have taken by people to standardize the temperature for annealing because if annealing temperature is not standardized uh, for your sample, for your primer, it will create a huge mess, right? So in this case, you need to learn how to calculate those annealing temperature. And we can get the idea if we can calculate the melting temperature of the primer template hybrid. So you can see here, this is the primer. And the question is, what is the TM of that primer? TM means the melting temperature. So the melting temperature of the primer can be calculated by using one simple formula and, and by looking at the primer that is given here. So the formula for calculating the melting temperature that is Tm equals to 2 into A plus T plus 4 into G plus C. That is going to be the formula. 2 multiplied by A plus T plus 4 multiplied by G plus C. That is the formula, you know, because you know, TM is going to be higher if your primer is consisting of more GC. That's very fair understanding because, you know, uh, a G pairs with C by C hydrogen bonds and an A pairs with T by only two hydrogen bonds, right? So for that reason, in this case, what we know is that GC is a more, much more stronger hydrogen bond than AT. So if GC presents in higher content, in that case, you require more temperature to melt down that primer DNA hybrid, right? So the TM will rise. If AT is more, then TM will be low because it is consisting of two hydrogen. So here we look at it in this, in this formula, what we can put here, we need to calculate uh, each of those bases that are present, the number of the bases like adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. So let's look at it. So adenine means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 adenine. So let's put here 7 plus, uh, what is the thymine? Let's say 1. So it's only 1 plus 4 multiplied by G. 1. So let me put G in the top. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4G plus number of C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you put the values here. So that means 2 multiplied by 7 plus 1 means 8. 16 plus 4 multiplied by, you know, 4 plus 5 means 9, 36, and it will give you value of 52. So 52 is considered here as the melting temperature or TM of this primer with the DNA hybrid. So by looking at this idea, you can get the annealing temperature value, and that is very, very easy for you and very, very easy to get this idea. And once you get the idea, it will be very easier to set the experiment so that more time is not wasted in your PhD career.